Good morning, folks. It is Tuesday the 7th. I was not going to do a chip break today uh, because I was in a really bad mood. And I figured, you know what, actually, um, maybe this is a good thing to show because I know I am so enthusiastic about what I do. And sometimes I have to take a step back and remember, holy cow, if you had told me three years ago, let alone 10 years ago, that I'd be running a real shop with multiple machines back in Ohio, I mean, just awesome. But um, I was really frustrated. Um, you guys saw on Instagram yesterday, we were having a little bit of trouble with the lathe, although I think I got that nailed down and that wasn't that bad. Um, and then I, just silly stuff, you know, I, uh, my wife had a work dinner, so I had William with me. We I had a seven o'clock meeting that I had to bring him to and I went to a restaurant with him at six o'clock, family restaurant, and um, told them, I was like, hey, you know, we gotta run out of here. Can I just order right away when we sat down? And long story short, it, 30 minutes later, they hadn't even come back or brought our food. And I mentioned something politely to the waitress. And I said, hey, I actually gotta run. Um, can I just get it like to go? And she's like, yeah, it's, it'll be here one minute. I'm so sorry, but well, she wasn't that polite. But, and then five minutes later, it still wasn't there. So, um, what was funny is the hostess was like, is everything okay? And I was like, oh, you know, it's just a bummer. I'd mentioned we had a run and it's been 40 minutes now. And she's like, oh, well, you know, we mix all our food together with our takeout window. This is a pizzeria. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's even an hour, like smug. And I was just like, screw you. Um, I, here's the thing. I, I, I don't like being around people that are negative. Uh, John Grimms and I were talking about this, like life's too short, man. Uh, the people out there that want to like hate and, and just be negative, you know, piss on them. But the reality is you get frustrated. And then I came in this morning early as tomorrow is vacation day and I wanted to get some jobs done and out the door. And um, this one here was frustrating me. It's not the part now. It's honestly, it's freaking fusion. And I learned a few things in the lathe and the tool pass that um, I think I've got it nailed down, but we couldn't get the adaptive tool path to go. Let me put it on wireframe. I couldn't get the adaptive tool path going down where I wanted it so that I could clear out, um, so that I could be clear. You know, see all this big gap right here? You know, I wanted to use a flat end mill or a bull nose because those aren't plagued by the zero surface feet per minute problem you have on the very center of a ball nose end mill. So I wanted to get those roughed out before I came in and cleaned the part up. And, Fusion wasn't cooperating. It was the same part that was giving me fits on the lathe side, which I figured out had to do with, um, had to do, uh, so, such BS. It had to do with uh, having spun profile selected, uh, which isn't something I should even have to have on this part. And then um, I can't remember what else. But so what do you? So I guess what I wanted to mention is. Um, I, I not only I dislike being around people that are in bad moods. I hate getting in a bad mood. Um, I also don't like people that are like perpetually high on life, like that seem falsely those people that are just like perfect and, and just don't seem to have a dose of reality. Because look, running a small business, um, you know, there's stressful times. There's highs and lows. And I think it's unrealistic to just put on this happy face that nothing ever goes wrong. And so my question is, is, is not avoiding the lows it's just how do you deal with it how do you deal with it so you know last night um i watched half of the martian um there was plenty of work to do um you know william was in bed he, he, sorry i should mention that too william had a great time we went to the farm um to check on something we hung out together played hide and seek uh got gave him a late bath he's his second night sleeping in a big boy bed so that's exciting you know i sat down uh next to him on the bed on the floor we don't have the this is embarrassing we don't have our uh, bed stands yet so this mattress is just on the floor don't tell anyone I said that and I said William do you want me to read to you down here do you want me to get up in bed with you and read and he said daddy come up here so that's that puts a smile on your face anyway then I watched the Martian just kind of decompressed a little um, got in early this morning it was a little frustrated because I uh, this same tool path although it's running right now I'll show you guys it's doing better trying to clean that up. I don't know if you can hear me here or not. It's actually our work holding um, 
is going great. That was frankly the biggest risk that was meant I was gonna have to maybe redo this whole sort of project approach. So that's good. Um, I, while I'm over here, I wanted to say thank you. Um, some folks had mentioned building or adding more rollers here. Totally agree. The origination of this thing was from the Tom Lipton's book, Metalworking Sink or Swim. And the idea is you've got this cart, which you could move around if you wanted to, it's all, hence why it's on those wheels, but um, you can lower material off of a forklift right onto this thing, which is actually really nice, especially when we're unloading like the Alro truck. But we can still add more rollers and maintain that functionality. We're gonna wait till the iron worker arrives to do some more work on this, which um, we, which yes, we bought the iron worker. We want the Cleveland steel, which is the Edwards. I've actually uploaded the video, just haven't clicked publish yet on our whole like learning process there. Last thing I wanted to mention was we were having trouble with our scrap. Um, we we were getting way too much nowadays to deal with little 50 gallon or 30 gallon Rubbermaid bins, which are hard to lift anyways. So, um, they make those uh, really nice forklift, like tip hoppers, which I'd still like to get some, but you know, they're one of the things where if you get lucky, you can find them for a few hundred bucks at like an auction or new, they're like 1500 bucks. I don't really want to spend 1500 bucks right now. So the um, local scrapyard actually gave us these 1100 pound cardboard boxes, which we just threw on a pallet and threw a tarp in there. So we got one for well, that was supposed to be steel only. It looks like it's aluminum now mixed in, which is a bummer. That's definitely aluminum. Um, so those are a helpful change. And that's all I've got. I've got to make a second one of these parts right here, which we're going to film for a Wednesday widget, which I'm excited for. Uh, otherwise, that's all I got, folks. Um, I actually have a few chip break topics in mind that I've been really excited to talk about. Uh, which I think I'm going to do from vacation, not in a working from vacation way at all. But um, it's really relaxing, like for me to clear my head and just chill. Um, I usually get up early, do a little bit of my own work uh, before the family gets up. It's like to me, that's like that's the perfect life, being able to um, because work isn't work to me. Um, I, I love it. I'm curious to see what you guys think. You know, I I always want I always don't want to be one of those guys who just brings work with them on vacation. It's not like that. But at the flip side, I love it. It's so much fun. So when you can have your cake and eat it too, when you can do some work, have some fun, keep the wheels in motion, but also enjoy the beach and hanging out. I'm actually super excited to play putt-putt with William. Uh, we're going to Cape Cod. Um, that's what I was gonna mention too. I really feel like everything's coming together. I'm about to head out. We had a couple jobs come in. Jared's running with him, our intern, is great. His name's Noah. I should introduce him. He said he was cool being on camera. Um, he's not here today. But that's awesome. When I know we can keep this shop running, this equipment running, parts going out the door, um, when I'm actually not here, that's really cool. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, see you soon, folks. Take care.